Hey guys, Dan Nankis here. I'm the founder of Elite Brands Email Marketing Agency and also worldwide fitness apparel brand Gearbunch.com. And thanks for joining me on my channel. Today, what I'm going to take you through is a fairly simple process, but it's quite often um, made overly complicated by people, and that is how to manually import uh, emails into your existing Klaviyo account. Now, this could be uh, you're changing from a different email service provider that doesn't have the integration with Klaviyo, or potentially you've done a joint venture or competition with another similar brand and you're sharing those contexts as part of, part of what was agreed with with the competition um, entry conditions. So make sure it's all done legally. We don't want you importing you know, a bought or a scrape list because that's not what we're about and that's not going to be a long-term game for you. So before I get into it, what I'm gonna get you to do is smash that like button, hit on subscribe and then turn on all of the notifications. All right. Let's get into it. So when we come onto our screen here, just come over to your lists and segments. Now there's two options when you're importing in your new uh, email contacts. You can either add them to an existing list or you can create a new list. Adding them to the existing list is exactly what it sounds like. I'll just show you how to create a new list here and add them in. So we'll just click on there, just click on list and we'll just put in example list and we will create that list. Now, we don't want to create a sign up form or add a subscribe page. They are options when you create a list. We're going to upload contacts today. Now, you've got two options when you come in here. Obviously, exactly like I just said, most of what I was talking about, there is some file formatting and there's a some more supported format example number at the example that you can get there. You can just copy and paste them in which is if you've only got a few that you want to add in, that's fine. Say you've got a text document, but if you've got a CSV file, all you need to do, you can drag and drop it to here or you can select it from your computer. And I've got some on the desktop here. Uh, what did I call it? Um, this one here, wishlist users. Now I've only got one column in there. Now I'll just show you the actual CSV. Get that open. Now what you can do is you can have a few columns. The first is email. The second can be first name, last name. You can add in as many different custom columns as you want. You just need to map them out. At this stage, I'm just showing you the um, username. So this one, it's saying I've put it as user email. If I had to put email, I probably would have picked it up. So all I need to do is go and select that is the person's email. So there's no other comments, uh, no other contents in there. If I had a first name, there'd be a first name one, last name one. And you can see all the different, we can put addresses, we can put cities if we want a geo target, we can put in uh, the source, we can add a whole lot of custom properties, birthdays, uh, lots of different things that we can actually put in there. We'll just keep it simple for this. We'll just click on import the review and then start import. That'll generate it fairly quickly. And what we'll have at the end is we'll have a list with all of those actual names in it. And yeah, we're ready to go. We can start using them in our segments. We can send out them. So we've got 173 records imported. So that's all work. There was none skipped because they're all validated emails that we um, obtained. So that's how you do it. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on all your notifications. I've always got videos like this coming out. Uh, if you want to get a copy of my Elite 7 uh, download, which has all of the automated email flows that you need that I use for Gearbunch and for all of our clients. Just click on the link down below, grab yourself a copy, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.